and welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jackie Harris and today I am bringing you another shaving video. I have two new things to show you today, uh, predominantly the razor and the soap. You've not seen the soap yet. Uh, let's start with the soap then. So the soap is from the club and this is one of my favorites. This is Vanille Vendetta. Um, he's released this recently. Uh, the way I would describe this scent, a really nice vanilla and juniper. Juniper is a little bit green, a little bit tangy. And the vanilla is really, really nicely balanced in this. The scent strength from this is probably about a six. It's actually quite low for one of the uh, a and E's or Peter's scents. Um, this is in the Kaizen 2 base, as you can see here. Really, really good. Um, looking forward to using that. Now this is the star of the show, in my opinion. Um, I've done some stuff with lighting, so my lighting should be so much better now. Um, let me know if you think it's better. This is a so do you remember when i shaved with that um vintage sheffield wedge well quite quite soon after that the uh, scales broke um and i needed to get it i needed new scales fitted on it i thought well while i'm getting new scales fitting on it i love the way the razor shaved so i'm going to get it restored um i sent this off to edge dynamics um edge dynamics joseph who's out of the uk uh is phenomenal he uses a lot of old kind of like vintage techniques to get stuff to work. Now this, my friends, I don't know if you can see this, but this, these scales are made out of a vintage buffalo horn. Um, he's put his own, he's lined it with his own wedge. As you can see there, I hope you can see. And the pins are done by him, they are his pins. Look at how incredible that looks. I'm, I'm gonna put some photos. In fact, you'll see those now. Hey guys, welcome back. Let me know what you think. I, I, I really love this razor. Um, I think he did a remarkable job. If you have any kind of restoration work that needs doing on straight razors, Joseph at Edge Dynamics is your man. Our brush today, it feels, it feels only right to go with this brush. And this is our Vale, uh, the gas lamp Vale. So let's get a load on here. Um, I hope the lighting's all right. I think it is. I have a good amount of light coming at me from that angle, and I don't know how kind of much this side is lit, lit up, but I think it's better than it was before for sure. What if I put this on? It's a bit of difference. Okay, let's get a load up here. K2, we know how good K2 is. I don't need to say too much more about that. This is a very soft soap, this one. Uh, for some reason, this came out softer than uh, the other K2 soaps I have, which is quite interesting. This is a very um, lovely, lovely scent. If, if you if you want um, kind of like vanilla, and you're a fan of vanilla, then this is a no-brainer pickup for me. It's a really nice vanilla scent. Like I said, a bit of juniper. There's some other stuff, but I don't really get the other stuff. I, I predominantly get vanilla juniper. If you guys have smelt um, Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Kirchan, it's almost the same same scent. It's not a dupe. He didn't do that on purpose. It's just the way it came out, I think. Okay. Sweat the face and we'll lather up. I have a blemish here, as you can see, so I need to be careful because a straight razor would just destroy that, especially a wedge. <laughs> a wedge will just run right over that, so I need to be aware. Working with about 48 hours of growth, I decided not to shave yesterday. So. We're doing well. Ah, oh, very nice. Switch this out a bit. It's very soft. I could probably do with letting the soap cure slightly. Because this is softer than 
the other K2 subs I have for sure. Okay, let's uh, lather up. Because we're using a straight, I'm not looking for too much volume in the lather, I'm looking more for, for slickness. I think volume, like big volume, actually takes away from straight razor shaving, so I'll build a little bit and then start just painting water in to get good slickness. K2 can take a tremendous amount of water, so keep giving it what it wants. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm running the tap. And then just putting the tips in the brush, tips of the brush in the water that's running. It works. There we go. So I can actually just start painting water in now. Like I said, not looking for loads of volume. It's a really nice slick surface for the razor to glide along. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with the work. Uh, Edge Dynamics did with this razor. He has some razors listed on his website and you, the quality of work. For me, is pretty unparalleled for what he can do. Um, just re remarkable restoration work. Really, really is. Really nice lather already. Cool, we're gonna keep adding a bit more water to this. You know guys, I think we're good. So what I'm gonna do here, let's put this down. Let's dry up the uh, shaving area a bit. Put a towel down here for my hands. I'm gonna, where that blemish is, just get rid of the soap. So I, I definitely don't shave over it. <laughs> I, I don't want that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this uh, this razor a shave. So once again, Sheffield Wedge, Old, old Sheffield wedge. I'd, razor made sometime in the 1800s. Um, let's get to shaving. Wow. He honed this on a Nakayama Maruka, I believe. A full Nagura progression. And it feels great. Really good. Very smooth. I actually do like the size of these razors. This this razor's not too big, it's seven eighths I think. So definitely manageable. I have a lot of big straight razors as you guys know. Oops. 
switch hands here. Go to my left. Super easy. So I love about wedges, just how they go through hair. No stuttering. I find quite a lot of uh, hollow grinds to be quite plucky. First pass done, dry it off, keep it out of the way from water, <laughs> close it over there, and then rinse off and lather up for our first, what, second pass now. Really nice. Took a lot of hair off actually. Real good amount. Soap is slick as heck. Fantastic. <laughs> the soap gets everywhere. There's nothing you can do. Okay. Second pass. Let's go cross grain here. It feels really nice. Dry up the hand, go left side now. Real easy. It just goes through hair, is really the way I would put it. Like there are times I shave with kind of more hologram razors and I feel them just jolt and stop. This does not have that problem.
Soap is very slick. Clean up pass and then we're good. I think that's okay. Set that aside. So all I'll do with that when I'm done, just get a microfiber towel. One of the Lancaster towels do the job. And uh, really getting all of its nooks and crannies, make sure there's no water hanging around and when I put it to dry I don't um I don't close the scales up I, I leave the scales open just so any water that's trapped in there gravity can deal with and take it out Man, that feels phenomenal. Doesn't really feel like there's anything there. And that's kind of what a good edge is, I think. Just very smooth. Happy with that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is grab this guy, really run it across the blade, get all the water off, come down, blow the scales out. So you, that blade is really dry now. So all I'm gonna do is when I store it, is just keep it like this, and then eventually, when I'm done with it, um, or at least if I'm not going to shave with it for a little bit, put a bit of mineral oil on the blade and store it. But yeah, that's a great shave. Let me get this on my face and I'll be back for the final thoughts on the post shave. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, it's uh, post shave time. I mean the immediate post on this soap is very very good as we know. But I'm still going to use Perche product. I've got towel fluff on me. Okay, so I don't actually have the matching splash, so I'm just going to use the Ariana and Evans Skin Essentials Post Shave Serum, as you see. Just one squirt of this is normally fine. Boom, there. Let's get that. Get that on the face. And the neck. Yeah, let me show you the products I used today and I'll let you guys go. So I used uh, Vanilla Vendetta in K2 by The Club. Phenomenal, lovely vanilla and juniper scent. Um, I have a perfect fragrance to match with this, so I'll be using that. Yeah, really, really nice. Um, if you're a big fan of vanilla, like vanilla, like vanilla fragrances or scents, this is a no-brainer for me. Um, our brush today was the Vale Gas Lamp. One of my favorites, if not my favorite brush, to be honest. And our razor of choice today was the Wade and the Butcher Sheffield Wedge 7 8 with these beautiful buffalo horn scales, the stunning pin work, and the custom wedge. Beautiful razor. He did a really good, a good job on the edge as well. Um, j Edge, very, very smooth, very comfortable, kind of what I like, but yeah, um, remarkable shave, and to finish it off, we use the Skin Essentials Post Shave Serum by Ariana and Evans. 
Hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. If you're around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I would very much appreciate it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Room Room. Wherever you are, the world have a wonderful day. And goodbye for now.